Hello and welcome to my new video. Today I want to explain how to control LEDs on the ESP32C3 with the programming language Lua. To build the circuit you need a USB Type-C cable and the microcontroller, in my case an ESP32C3. In the first step we connect two cables to the controller one to GND and the other one to GPIO0. Next, we plug our dropping resistor onto the breadboard and connect it to the LED. In mine, the right wire is connected to GND and the orange one to GPIO0. We now connect the controller to the computer and write a small program. I have already done this in advance and tested it so my little red LED flashes as soon as the microcontroller gets power. For programming I use the development environment Visual Studio Code. You can of course use any other IDE. First we need some metadata. This includes the field project and version. Here I write down some sample data like LED blink and um, version number 0.1. To get access to the GPIOs and the functions we need the module this, which we import first. Next we define a field called LED and assign it a GPIO pin. In my case, as mentioned, the LED is connected to pin GPIO0. To store the last state of the LED, we need another field. I call it the state and initialize it with volts. In this video, I want to show how you can make a LED blink. So I need a function which starts its timer in Lua. We find it at this object. In this function, we activate or deactivate the LED. This depends on the last status. Then we negate the status and write this additionally to the serial interface. At the end we have to enter an interval, in my case 500 milliseconds. At the end of the script we have to type this program and that's all. Now I change my interval to 250 milliseconds so I can see that my code was uploaded. As next we use Lua tools to upload our code. We have to change the port and the baud part and then we can connect to the microcontroller. In my case my first code is running and I have to stop it first. Using the button manage and debug we get the dialog where we can select and upload our code. The upload takes some time because the code has to be converted first and then uploaded via the serial interface. Once the new code has been uploaded, the new LED will flash much faster. If we switch to the main view of Lua tools, then we see the serial output of our little program. Now we have made one LED blink. Next we will connect another one to make it blink as well. In my case I take another 5mm LED in blue and of course a 220 ohm series resistor. I connect the new blue LED to the GPIO1 of the microcontroller. Now let's go back to our program and extend it with the blue LED. First we change the name of the field of the red LED to LED underline red and duplicate this line. Now adjust the name of the field accordingly and assign the GPIO1 and in the timer assign or rename the corresponding fields. That's all. When we upload the code, now both LEDs 
should blink at the same rate. Next, we want to let the two LEDs flash alternately. To do this, we copy the code for the red LED once. To let the LEDs flash alternately, we have to initialize one of the two statuses of the LEDs with true. When all is done, we can upload our code via Lua tools and take a look that our LEDs flashes alternatively. I would like to end my first English video with this. I hope you like it. If you have any requests or suggestions, I would be happy to receive a comment. Bye bye!